Hey guys, it's Arthur here again. The last time I did one of these was actually in January, so I guess time flies when you're busy. But I wanted to show you some of the things we do when we get ready, when a seller calls us and when we're getting ready for a listing appointment, how we evaluate the market in depth, like Zillow or Trulia or any of those automatic websites really can't do. So we, we help you figure some things out. So that's what I'm going to show you. Some of the research we can do. So you can see this is single families for the past year for Malden, Massachusetts, because that's what we've been focused on. But if you want us to focus on your specific town, give us a call. We sell everywhere. Post on this link. It would be glad to do so. But getting back to the business. So right now in Malden, there's only 11 houses for sale for single families. That's really low, and you can see that there's a lot more buyers than sellers because 27 days on the market on average. So what that's saying is they're not really sitting on much longer than that. You could also see right there where I'm showing you the average sales price. That's for Malden, 456000 right now, which is great money. But we can also break those down by seeing, like, where's this properties that are for sale right now? Like, you could see the different gaps. So by pricing in those gaps, a lot of times we're able to get a benefit in an offer when nobody else can. You could see some price change listings as well. Most of these just simply mean that the price has, you know, the seller was asking for too much money initially. And you could see the percentage they're dropping them by. We always recommend 5 to 10% because in this market, if you didn't get an offer in the first two weeks, then, you know, you're clearly more overpriced than that. So pendings and under agreement, there's 26. So if you think about how many are on the market, only 11, and 26 are gone, that means that there's way more under agreement, so they're selling quickly, and you only have 11 for inventory. So that's almost double, right? It's even more than double. So you could see that too. But the other thing that I want you to notice is the average price. It's 390. So what that's telling me is a lot of people are optimistic and they're not taking the time to price the properties properly. And that's the reason why the sellers are actually, when they're going to contract, they're getting a little bit less than what they're asking. So you could see souls. This is for all of last year. And we could run statistics in your specific price category. But if you look in general, this shows that original sales price to what it actually sold for is 101%. There's no property for a hundred grand, but for simple math, if you list for a hundred, right now you're getting a hundred and one percent, and that's why it's a seller's market. More sellers there out there than there more buyers. I mean, out there than there are sellers. And lastly, I want you to focus on one thing, which is critical: expired listing. These are houses that were on the market and didn't sell. A couple of things here. There's 19. So here's my point, right? It's people like, why should I hire a realtor? There's the proof. There's still 19 homes that were. Even hired, you hired a listing agent and still didn't sell. So you need to, the person to know what they're doing. You need proper marketing. But also look at the days on the market. 79 days. That's a pretty long time in this market. So that seller, consumer, should have been educated on the appropriate price and marketing at that point. And you could also see the average price. It's 451 So we could come to the conclusion most of the time when a home doesn't sell is because they're asking too much money. There's always other reasons involved, but that's why I say hire a professional and make sure you, you get educated on the market. If you're curious about your town, your community, give us a call. If you have any questions, visit our website, dna-realty.com. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.